to the side of one of his greatest triumphs as an amateur and now world number one, Jordan Spieth is looking for redemption after coming up just short at Riviera a year ago. Meanwhile, the other world number one defends her title down under. Will a swing change help or hurt Lydia Ko in 2016? We have all the answers straight ahead on Golf Central. Golf Central, brought to you by Titleist. Jordan Spieth is only 22 years old, but he's already developed a fairly long and memorable relationship with Riviera Country Club. As we go back to the 2012 Men's NCAA Championship at Riviera, Jordan made his one full season of collegiate golf a memorable one at the University of Texas. Here he is on the par four 15th, and folks, Patience is a virtue, because this arguably the shot of the event. Spieth using the slope and drops it in for Eagle. He would win his match three and two as the gallery erupts, and then it was his teammate on the 18th. The closing par four, Dylan Fratelli drains the putt as the Longhorns take the national title. Last year in the Northern Trust Open, Spieth for par on the final hole. That would have got him in the clubhouse at six under par. He finished at five under, just one shot out of a three-man playoff. He finished in a tie for fourth. Then yesterday, playing in the Northern Trust Open Collegiate Showcase, drove it past the green on the par four tenth, chipping up and made a birdie as Spieth looking sharp in his Monday practice round. Welcome into Golf Central. I'm George Savarikis. I know we're a couple days past Valentine's Day, but you can tell Jordan Spieth really feels something for Riviera. He doesn't just appreciate the layout. It's something arguably deeper. Here's the world number one earlier today. Probably played this course close to 30 times now, which is um, a lot compared to other tournaments. Um, it's one of my favorites in the entire world. Yesterday was already in tournament condition. Uh, it was already where, um, you know, 10 under, I would imagine, would win the tournament if it were held on um, four rounds with yesterday's conditions. So uh, it's pretty spectacular that that can happen on a Monday and they don't have to do a whole lot to this course to make it that challenging. What area of your game do you think has improved the most uh, since 12 months ago when you're sitting here? I think it's all gotten a bit more consistent. I think my confidence in my entire game when pressure comes on, I can now really relate and look back to uh, a lot of key moments where I've hit shots in the past when the pressure's been on, where I felt like I did what I wanted to do. I think I've gotten a lot better putting under pressure, but really to be able to stand up and really focus in on a specific target and work either ball flight onto that target, whether it's driving it or striking an iron shot, that's definitely improved when the pressure's on. I'm not thinking as much about boards and positioning as much as I am that shot. Jordan, you're, you're uh, paired first two rounds with with Justin Thomas, what's your reaction to that and how soon will the trash talking mind games 15th hole come up? I haven't, uh, I have not received the pairings yet, so that's the first I've heard. Justin and Freddie. Justin and Freddie. Um, that's fun. That's cool. Uh, Couples. That'll be awesome. Played with Freddie here before. He's, we ob I obviously know what to expect with him out here with the crowds. They f love Freddie here. And then uh, with Justin, no, I mean, I, I don't think we'll, yeah, we'll probably bring up, me and Mike will probably bring up our past here, but there'll be nothing better for Justin than trying to kick my butt on this golf course after um, all the things we've gone through, letting him know about it here. So um, the only reason we give him that crap is because he got his national championship the next year. So uh, we've each had our time. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's uh, my initial reaction is, very, very positive to that pairing. From everything he said and from the stats we're about to show you, Jordan clearly seems comfortable at Riviera, a tie for 12th and a tie for 4th. His last two outings on this course, and check out his green and regulation percentage. It's one of the hardest courses on tour to hit the green, so those numbers, while they seem low, are actually quite impressive. For more on the world number one, let's go out to Pacific Palisades, California. We find Angela Aikens, who's covering this week's Northern Trust Open. Angela, how is Jordan preparing for this week's event? 
Well, George, because Jordan Spieth played 18 holes yesterday in the Northern Trust Open Collegiate Showcase, he did a lot of practicing today. He was on the range for a while, and then he did some speed work on the greens. Now, Spieth did tell me that he's very happy to be back in the United States because he was feeling a bit tired because of all the traveling that he's done to start 2016. When you look back at his schedule so far this year, he's played in Hawaii, Abu Dhabi, Singapore, and California. That is a lot of different time zones. But Spieth is feeling a bit more rested. He's very excited to be on this golf course. He absolutely loves this course. Mentioned that multiple times today and he's paired with a couple of buddies, Justin Thomas and Fred Couples in the first two rounds. I did speak to Justin Thomas as well today. He said that when he's out at Riviera, he does think back to the 2012 NCAA championship and even though they didn't win that week, he has lots of great memories from that year. Thomas did mention, though, that he won a national championship at Bama the very next year, so it all turned out okay. And you can bet that Spieth and Thomas will bring the 2012 NCAA championship up multiple times this week. George? Yeah, probably more Spieth than Justin. And as we showed earlier in the show, Jordan finished one shot shy of that playoff last year. Paul Casey was in that three-man dance. Angela, what will be new for Casey this time around at Riviera? What's new for Casey is his caddy, a big change for Casey. He ha now has John McLaren on the back for him. John McLaren and Luke Donald were a longtime partnership, and those two accomplished a lot together in their nearly six years as a duo. They, they parted ways in October of 2015, but before that, Luke Donald won nine times worldwide. He won the race to Abu Dhabi. He became world number one, and he earned over $25 million on the golf course with McLaren on the back. Paul Casey took note of those numbers, and he thinks that McLaren can help him as well, having him caddy for him. Uh, McLaren told me that he is equally excited to be on the bag for Casey, and Casey even joked that when a caddy like John McLaren is available, you do not pass him up. So we'll see how that pair does in their first official tournament together. George? Thank you, Angela. And Johnny Mack definitely has some of the best socks on tour. Here's a look at some of the headlines at Riviera. World number three, Roy McIlroy making his first PGA Tour start in 2016. It's his Hollywood debut. He's playing the Northern Trust Open for the first time. Well, there's a lot of star power out at Riviera. Five of the top ten players in the world are teeing it up in L.A. And flashback a year ago, James Hahn had his big breakthrough, outlasting Dustin Johnson and Paul Casey in a three-hole playoff to get his first career PGA Tour victory with Golf Channel analyst Trip Eisenhower now who will help us break down Riviera by the numbers. Tomorrow, we're, we're all going to wait for you to unveil <laughs> who your winner is this week, but by the numbers, what type of player thrives? Well, you got to look at a couple of things about Riviera. I, it's on everyone's short list of their favorite golf courses. It really is a, just a gem of a golf course, and it stood the test of time. Yeah, they've had to do a little tweaks here and there, but if you look at some of the numbers uh, of how this course stacks up and how it does for the winners, we look at how they all, except for Bill Haas, were up there in strokes gain, uh, tee to green, and when you break it out, courtesy of Mark Brody, the creator of these stats, you can see that the ball striking is definitely a key, uh, no doubt about it. Either you have to drive it well or you have to hit your irons well. Uh, Bill Haas was the only one that was in the top ten in strokes gain putting. The key, like for James Hahn last year, was how he played the par fours. Uh, so important to play these par fours well. You can see nobody did better than James Hahn last year. So if we look at some of the players that are in the field and how they stack up on par four performance, how they play par fours, their par four scoring, well, number one, no surprise, Jordan Spieth, Sergio Garcia. Uh, there you can see Paul Casey, Hideki Matsuyama, and, of course, Kevin Na having quietly a great season. Uh, so the other thing that you have to look at, George, is the type of player at this play at Riviera is some of the hardest greens to hit on the PGA Tour. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, 51% of the time, it was one of the hardest golf courses to putt inside three to five feet the last five seasons. So look for a player that is a great ball striker that's strong Struggles a little bit on short putting. That's the type player that you want to pick this week because everybody's going to be missing three to five foot putts. And with how firm things already are, expect exactly. it to be another year of making it difficult to hit those greens. Well, the PGA Tour goes Hollywood this week. Northern Trust Open at Riviera Country Club. You will see it unfold live here on Golf Channel. Exclusive first round coverage beginning Thursday at 4 o'clock Eastern with Golf Central pregame. Much more to get to in the show. Why golf fans will be looking at things a little backwards at this year's Tour Championship. Is this going to be Bizarro Eastlake? And following a win in New Zealand, why could there be some cause for concern for Lydia Ko in 2016? You're watching Golf Central. 
Golf Central is brought to you by the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Make a difference in your game. Grip confidence. Grip golf pride.